There's a steal by Burt! At center court, he'll take it in and jam it down! When Trey Burke committed to Michigan, he didn't expect to be thrust into a starting role right away. Not with Darius Morris on the Wolverines roster. But Morris chose to leave school early for the NBA, and Burke was suddenly forced to take the reins for a highly thought of Wolverines team. Burke will coast in and take a roll it down! He was up to the task. At 180 pounds soaking wet, the supremely confident Burke dealt with the physical rigors of the Big Ten from the get-go, quickly emerging as the Wolverines' best player. It's Trey Burke who gets it. All the way to the rack, scoops off the glass and through. Burke led Michigan in scoring, assists, steals, and blocks, was the Big Ten freshman of the year, earned mention on several All-American teams, and pondered following Morris to the NBA. After talking it over with my family and with my coaches, you know, discussing it with some of the players. I felt like it was the best decision for me to stay my sophomore year here at the University of Michigan. It was the next season, though, that Burke truly emerged as a superstar on a young but talented Wolverines team, which started 16-0 before ending up as a four seed in the NCAA tournament. Burke's signature game came in the Sweet 16, including an iconic triple that sent the contest into OT. Burke, a very long three over! Over, over, over. Burke led the Wolverines all the way to the national championship game and was named Big Ten and National Player of the Year before making himself eligible for the NBA draft. Trey Burke, first team all decade in the Big Ten, according to our BTN panel. A multifaceted Michigan State star who redefined the term positionless, Draymond Green joins our all-decade team. The Saginaw, Michigan native with a Spartan-approved last name, Green was perhaps destined for East Lansing. His freshman season began on the bench, but ended with Green playing a major role in MSU's run to the title game. This guy's been around four years, and he's gonna be very good by the time he leaves here. As a sophomore, Green became the first ever Spartan to win sixth man of the year honors, while MSU made its second straight trip to the final four. Green continued to expand his game the next year, earning third team all-conference honors for the second straight season. There's a triple double. There it is. As a senior, Green would lead MSU to a share of the regular season title and a memorable win over Michigan in a game Green refused to consider missing despite injury. You know, I don't have to convince anyone of anything. It's Michigan State, and we're built on toughness. And, you know, coach isn't going to sit me out and say, hey, you're hurt, and I'm not going to sit out and say, hey, I'm hurt. What would it have taken for you to miss a game like this? Death. Green's masterful 14-point, 16-rebound performance that day was fueled by his own professed hatred of the Wolverines. What comes to my mind when I hear Michigan is hate. Like, I hate them. I know they hate us. Green's Big Ten career would end in victory as well, with his MVP effort leading Michigan State to the conference tournament title. While Green's college career would end in that year's Sweet 16, his legend will live on forever in Spartan lore. Draymond Green, a member of our all-decade first team. Wisconsin's Frank Kaminsky makes our all-decade first team, as you'd expect, because his college career was one for the ages. Frank has made the biggest impact of any Badger to ever come through the program. While his time in Madison ended with a senior season exploding with National Player of the Year honors, it started much slower. His first two years, he played in most games, but made little impact. You know, people were bigger than me, stronger than me, faster than me, and it, and it kind of scared me. You know, if I wanted to be a good player here, I would have to put in work on my body, on my game, and everything. That all changed his junior year. Kaminsky gained confidence quickly. In the fourth game of the 2013-2014 season, he broke an all-time Wisconsin mark. Kaminsky, nice the move. shot fake for the record. 43 points for Frank Kaminsky. 
It was the birth of Frank the Tank. His combination of seven feet in height, along with a smooth touch from distance, made him impossible to stop. And he wouldn't stop until he took the Badgers to the Final Four as a junior, thanks to his 28-point performance in the Elite Eight. Arizona three, Kaminsky for three. Yes. You can hear the Wisconsin crowd as the game is tied. Of course, you can't talk about Frank Kaminsky without mentioning his personality. I punched a door, and there was a hole in the door afterwards. I blame the door for not being strong enough. The crescendo of Kaminsky's career was his fourth season in Madison. He raised this whole team, and I don't think people understand how hard it is to do what this team did, and Frank was the leader of that. Nationally ranked in the top 10 every single week of the year, Frank and company won the Big Ten regular season championship and tournament title as part of a 36-win season. Then, in the NCAA tournament, he shined as bright as any star could, averaging 22 points a contest and notching a double-double in the Final Four as they beat previously undefeated Kentucky. I just always tell myself, do something you can be proud of. I see that banner go up there, I don't think of myself. I think all my teammates, who have been so supportive. When you tally it all up, one national title game, two Final Fours, the Naismith, the Oscar Robertson, the Wooden Award, the Big Ten Player of the Year and Tournament Most Outstanding Player, a league scoring title and rebounding title, plus 115 wins over four years in college, and now a first team all decade member. Frank the Tank indeed. One of the most versatile players in recent Big Ten history, former Ohio State Buckeye Evan Turner joins our all-decade team. Here's Turner looking to create. Nicely done. Turner's freshman year would show glimpses of what was to come. His sophomore season would see the man nicknamed the villain make an heroic leap as the only unanimous first-team all-league selection. The preseason player of the year heading into his junior campaign, Turner posted two early triple doubles. Before suffering a back injury, team doctors believed would keep him sidelined for two months. Well, then let's finish. Yet ET returned just four weeks later, leading OSU to a share of the regular season title, a number one seed in the Big Ten tournament, and a first round matchup with Michigan. Down two. With just seconds to play, Turner cemented his legacy. Inside it at the buzzer, got it! Are you kidding me? Turner and the Buckeyes would go on to win the 2010 Big Ten Tournament thanks to his 31-point performance in the championship game. The eventual number two pick in that summer's NBA draft, Turner would return to Columbus six years later to see his jersey raised to the Raptors. Attention to the Raptors in the southwest corner of Value City Arena. Thank you. All right. Ohio State legend Evan Turner, a member of our all-decade first team. Back outside, Valentine! Good luck creating this list without Denzel Valentine on it. Michigan State's all-everything warrior. Valentine wearing green and white was written in the stars. Tom Izzo recruited his dad, Carlton, to MSU. And when Denzel got there, he wore number 45, just like Papa. He's gonna rock the rim on this and go down and tell Draymond Green, I'm coming for you. You can say a player got better every day, but Valentine genuinely did. In his four years in East Lansing, he improved every single season over the previous year's numbers on points and rebounds and assists and free throw percentage and three point percentage. Every year, each of those categories always getting better. By the time he was done, he couldn't get much better. Valentine, what a lead! The awards he won his senior year are exhausting. AP National Player of the Year, Julius Irving Award, Big Ten Player of the Year, and the league's tournament most outstanding player. It's no wonder. Look at his senior year numbers. 
not just leading the league in scoring and in assists, but on the whole, he averaged more than 19 points a game, seven rebounds, and seven dimes. A near triple double. By the way, he got those more than once, including in a game versus top five ranked Kansas. Denzel Valentine with a night of his life. Just the fourth player in Michigan State to record a triple double. Of course, his most memorable moment came his junior year on February 14th. The perfect day to be a hero for a man with his last name. Tom Nairn gives it up to Valentine. Got it! Valentine was a consistent winner too. He brought Spartan faithful 27 wins or more in all four of his seasons, plus a final four in 2015. Which is why our panel gave Denzel Valentine a well-deserved first team all decade honor.